Thank you so much, uh, Eva, and thank you for being, uh, being with us this morning, and uh, congratulations on your achievement. Uh, it was very impressive to see your uh, video from, from the NASDAQ. Uh, I understand we have to eat more potatoes. That's, that's quite clear. Um, but it's, it's yeah. very interesting to hear how you can make uh, uh, other products based on, on potatoes and rapeseed. Healthy, uh, nutritious, uh, and sustainable products. That's, um, that's really, and it opens up a window of opportunity to see how we can perhaps use this on, in a global scale uh, with a minimum uh, impact on the environment. Uh, but before we jump further into the discussion, uh, we will have uh, another introduction uh, from our friend here in Seoul, um, and with perhaps uh, a different perspective. Um, Yun uh, Kyung Wang, she is uh, director of the Aquatic Plant Variety Center uh, at the National Institute of Fishery Science in the Republic of Korea. Um, she is currently involved in research on seaweed and uh, pro uh, pro uh, protection of aquatic plant uh, varieties. And she will focus her presentation on seaweed cultivation, very uh, important here in Korea, and breeding for sustainable production with great and both, and also a global potential. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to introduce you to uh, Eun Kyung Wang, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is my honor to be here tonight uh, in talking to you about seaweed. Let's begin. Uh, in these days, in our real life, uh, we use seaweed uh, and all uh, over the world. And the seaweed come from the natural population by collection or aquaculture. But the in intensive cultivation is restricted uh, the, to very uh, restricted area, like in the red colored area. So, since last 15 years, the production of aquatic plant is more and more increasing. If you compare to other aquatic animals, the difference is, uh, is uh, bigger and bigger. Uh, that because there are uh, increasing need on the seaweed biomass, because people want more healthy food and clean environment. Uh, Korea is the uh, number four uh, producer of the seaweed productions. And uh, we have uh, a diversity of uh, cultured species. And uh, in the value aspect, the top priority of the pyrophia, because uh, it, uh, the, uh, the ratio is about 65% of the total uh, values. Um, so during the last eight years, the pyrophia uh, market was uh, bigger and bigger in Korea. Now Korea is the uh, number one exporter in the world. So now we uh, export to the uh, more than 100 countries in the world. Uh, even in the Starbucks coffee shops, you can buy uh, pyrophia chips instead of potato chips. Uh, during the long history of the seaweed cultivation in Korea, uh, we developed uh, very successfully. And the direction of the uh, cultivation technology is convenience and economy. Because if the uh, cultivation method is too difficult or very hard, farmers, they, they do not want to do that. So the convenience and economy is very important to farmers. Also, uh, for the um, uh, sustainable production of seaweed, government, uh, we have a restriction to, uh, to the density of cultivation facility of the culture farms and uh, also manage it, uh, the farm environment rating systems and also uh, monitor food safety, uh, especially heavy metals. <coughs> and, uh, recently also we uh, uh, are facing to climate changes, so we need uh, the increased demand on the seaweed breedings. So, uh, also, we have to, uh, to contribute uh, growing fisheries incomes and also we have to supply stable biomass for other uh, industries. So that's why we need seaweed breeding. 
Um, the Golden Seed Project is uh, uh, one example of the government R&D uh, investment. Uh, there are uh, four ministries of uh, Korean government is included in there, uh, especially uh, agriculture and ocean and uh, the fisheries. The uh, goal of the, this project is to be a global leader of the global seed industries uh, by the year 2030. And with the GSP project, uh, the aquatic plant variety uh, protection systems has been settled in Korea since the year 2012. Uh, this the, the, the figure. Uh, this is the procedure of gaining a PVP right. From the uh, strain uh, development to registration, uh, it takes at least five to seven years. So, after registration, you can uh, sell your uh, varieties to uh, farmers with protection. For the uh, sweet, sweet breeding, we use these uh, three uh, methods. One, first one is selective breeding, and second one is cross breeding, and last one is mutations. But uh, normally we prefer you know, selective breeding or uh, cross breeding. Uh, using those methods, uh, since last eight years, we registered 20 seaweed varieties uh, by UPOB, that is uh, International Union for the Protection of New Varieties of Plants. Uh, the direction of the seaweed breeding is make, make, make some uh, new varieties having high productivity and or disease or uh, temperature resistant. And the one example uh, you can see the, in the in kelp, uh, we make the hybrid between the two different species. Uh, the, uh, the F1 hybrid, they show heterosis, so they grow longer than their parents and they have more uh, biomass. And also uh, the relationship between uh, kelp and abalone that is very important in Korea because Korean abalone farmers prefer fresh kelp as abalone feed. So 70% of the kelp production here is consumed by abalone. Yeah. So uh, the big issues abalone industry is stable feed supply. But in the, uh, the ordinary uh, kelp, there is some empty season. So uh, we uh, have to develop new uh, varieties called uh, Sukawan number 301. Uh, using these uh, new varieties, we could overcome this criti uh, critical period for abalone feed. So uh, this is the, my uh, conclusions. So in the uh, science, uh, we can make new varieties to face climate changes and the government have to be uh, 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 have, have a, a guidelines, some uh, uh, density of the aquatic uh, the farms, and also we have to monitor the environment and food safety. And uh, business and uh, uh, companies, they have to follow the international uh, standard, like um, a CVD standard. And uh, combine these three parts, we can ensure the sustainable seed productions. And uh, uh, I, I'd like to say <laughs> to you all, the uh, audience, please enjoy, uh, enjoy uh, seaweed and you will be healthy. Uh, because if you uh, uptake seaweed or uh, the, uh, some food, including seaweed extract, uh, it uh, makes you happy. happy. <laughs> and also you can get some bonus from seaweed. It is environmental service because during the seaweed cultivation, seaweed can, uh, make, uh, can release oxygen and they can uh, take away uh, nutrients and they can uh, remove CO2 gas. So that is the environmental um, service from seaweed. Okay, thank you very much.